Uh, Dr. Jason here. Today I will be reacting to uh, this Mrs. Crocom parody, uh, which appears to be done by two guys in drag. I'm familiar with uh, the English Heritage organization, their YouTube channel, all their Mrs. Crocom videos. I've seen just about all of them, and I study a lot of British and English history, so I'm familiar with this. Don't worry, my credentials check out. And I saw about 15 seconds of this, decided it was amazing. I can't wait to see the rest of this. Start the shit show. Standard English Heritage intro. Good. They've done their research. Wow, he really did well with the costume. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Oh, just let yourself in, why don't you? I could have been doing all sorts. <laughs> Who does that? <gasps> Almost wet me knickers. Today, I am preparing a supper for Lord Braybrook's dinner party. That's if Marianne ever gets off her arse. I've decided to make a turn. She's always bashing the other people in the kitchen, being like, hmm, looks like my maid didn't clean this enough. That's hilarious. And they know Lord and Lady Braybrook's name. Herbert, for this recipe, you will need... Turbot! <laughs> Make sure to use your very best turbot kettle. I have heard of people using ordinary oven dishes and I just about died of embarrassment. Put in some nice fresh spring water. Don't use cistern as it could be stale. If you do that, you might as well just piss in it. As it's oh, 1818, I thought I'd prepare Lord Braybrook a shot of arsenic and a bowl of lead. I often find that preparing accurate. food for the poor food. Mrs. Crocom, what? I, I burned the ginger biscuits, my darling. F**k's sake. Oh, look, there's a guided tour coming through every minute. Just shove some digestives in a bowl. I think it's oh, always funny. best to use traditional means. Although I have been trying a new medication that's just arrived from the Americas. It's called cocaine. I must admit, it's not really out my headache <laughs> thus far. Oh, look, my enormous raisin friend. That's not Mrs. from their Craven show at all. The dairy has been busy preparing four gallons of milk for today's butter. That's an awful lot of milk in. I suspect her nipples are sore. <laughs> oh, that one caught me by surprise. I'm sorry if I just spit everywhere. That was good. Props, props to you two there. Oh, they're they are getting the shade of Mrs. Crocom perfectly right now. I'm loving this. Oh. The turbot in for about 45 minutes. Better check on the turbot. <laughs> That's too sad. For lunch, I am preparing an almond and pepper sauce over braised ostrich. For this recipe, you will need almonds, <laughs> cayenne pepper, and sauce. A medium-sized bird will take about 30 minutes. Anything the size of Mrs. Brockett, the housekeeper, will take much longer. Oh, shit. I'm not one for trying out these modern kitchen gadgets, but I am told these are rather good. Oh, no, hang on. <laughs> yes. Where is this from? Historically accurate. This is right for the period. It's supposed to be 1880, isn't it? I, I think this is right, though. There's literally <laughs> a plug on it. Love the curtsies. I can't work with this. Oh, I thought we were doing 1918. Go into the dairy. Take that and shove it up your orderly end. Through the entree. Oh my god. Oh, they they really know. So oddly end is, I believe that's the name of the historic mansion in which English Heritage does these films. I think they literally make it a living and breathing manor home. And it's called oddly end. Wow. That was hilarious. If you didn't hear, they said, take this and shove it up your oddly end. Oh, props to you. You guys, you guys really, really get your references. This is too good. This is way too good. Hey, I'm making rhubarb soup because lunch wasn't quite disgusting enough. <laughs> Sometimes you're in those Sylvia recipes, yeah, it's so has gross. already chopped and peeled the rhubarb for this dish, which is very kind of her as she is being hanged at three o'clock. <laughs> It's a good job Marianne stole this basket from the laundry. Not because it will provide any use for us, but we just can't stand the lady who works in the laundry, can we? She's always complaining about That's the laundry girls. There's always plenty to do in the kitchen. 
Okay, I took it back because of these damn ads. To pause for a nice nutritious snack. <laughs> Presentation isn't everything. After all, I am employed as a cook, not a confectioner. Besides, Marianne's mother looks oh, a mess and literally someone said that before. With her. Oh, it's true. You will need a very large bowl for something like this. Perfectly large for when you're told there's going to be ten for dinner, but there's actually fourteen. Sweet. Wow, they're really pulling out all of these references. Uh, if if this is your first time hearing about Mrs. Grocom, I'd advise for you to go to English Heritage YouTube. Watch some of their videos, then watch Mrs. Crocom being shady for 10 minutes straight or whatnot. Then watch either my video reacting to this or just watch their video on your own. Give them some views because they're doing amazing with this. But they know the references very well. And I know some of these weren't in that Mrs. Crocom being shady for X amount of minutes. So clearly they, they watch those videos on their own. They didn't, they're not just getting the second hand. They know. They know. Revenge was mine. I had Marianne gob in the marmalade ice. Make sure oh. to wrap your pudding in a clean piece of cloth. Now don't bother washing it. <laughs> We're not eating this, are we? Shop bought pastry hasn't been invented yet. So I spent the normal daily four hours toiling over this. Turn it, fold it, twist it, and bop it. Bop it. <laughs> Marianne is now going to put this in the oven for an hour and a half. No, don't re don't really. It's just a show, Marianne. You idiot. Put it in the. Oh, for God's sake, give it here. <laughs> it is important nice. at this stage to remove the scum. <clears throat> well, off you go then. <laughs> oh, God. Lady Braybrook's got athlete's foot. Be sure not to tell anyone. <laughs> I do. <laughs> oh, so shady, Mrs. Crocom. God, you know, she... <clears throat> the thing I love about the show on English Heritage is Mrs. Crocom is just a complete sassy lady. Like, she, she's just up here. Everyone else is clearly down here, and she lets it. Let's, she lets it be known when she's up here. I enjoy making this pudding. <clears throat> Might be because I really like work done with flour. I <laughs> could mill this flour myself from scratch, but I haven't the time today. I've got an asbestos bath this afternoon. It took me five months to make this. This cake is really beloved by all the servants. Too bad they're not having any. <laughs> there we are. Boiled onion and raisin pudding with chocolate beetroots and some sort of meat. We are honoured at Audley End Kitchen today to have this bouncy <clears throat> little bunny with us for Easter. He's sure to be more help than Marianne. I find that bunny rabbits bring you such a wonderful sense of calm. And they work wonders in a meat pie. Today <laughs> I'm making Devonshire squab pie. And to be honest, I'd rather be doing anything else. Squab means pigeon, although there isn't actually any pigeon in it. It's not from Devonshire either. Come to think of it, it's not even a pie. I've read <laughs> in the Weekly Gazette that the Queen loves Devonshire squab. But then I've also read that it's safe to give babies absinthe, so who the hell knows what to believe. This Devonshire squab pie will be just right for Lord and Lady Braybrook's dinner party that they're throwing tonight <clears throat> for Jack the Ripper. I've prepared <laughs> kedgeri for breakfast. Were they around during the time of Jack the Ripper? Honest, I don't really want to serve this so. it does look like it's been run over. Lord and Lady Braybrook have got a VIP over this afternoon. It's Little Miss Muffet. Mary Ann, take these curds and weigh out to her. I suspect she'll be sitting on a tuffet. What's a tuffet? <laughs> well, it's like a sort of giant mushroom. Wow, so well done. Well done to these two here. <clears throat> they, well, they captured Mrs. Crocom perfectly. Um, I think I even, or in the comments, I, I don't think, I know because I already liked the comment. Uh, <clears throat> the English Heritage YouTube literally uh, liked it themselves. So that's a stamp of approval. If you don't believe me saying that they did a very good job with this, they did a great job with this. Thanks so much for watching. Go check out this channel. 
They've got some funny stuff. Go check out English Heritage. They've got Mrs. Crocombe. I'll see you next time.